scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about The Churchill Years, Volume 2. Four stories spread over, well, you know, four discs, all dealing with different periods of Winston's life, mainly told in a kind of a almost companion chronicle, you know, the later ones kind of a way, as a sort of memoir thing. You've got multiple people playing Churchill, well, in the first one, but all of it is Ian McNeese's, well, child. It's what we know him for, unless, of course, you're fans of Doc Martin. McNeese is a great convention guest, and this box set might have passed you by. Let's face it, there's no actual Doctor in this, and there's a lot of people out there who just buy them with the Doctor. However, there is a certain guest star in one of these stories that makes you go, oh yeah, perhaps we could have Madame Vastra box set. After all, I'm sure a lot of us out there would buy that. So as a backdoor pilot for the Vastra Chronicles, or even something to do with the entire gang, that would be fine. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to talk about, well, first off, it's Young Winston by Paul Morris. London, 1899. After spending time in war zones abroad, Winston Churchill considers a parliamentary career but a memento from his visit to Cuba four years earlier returns to haunt him. Across the city, the great detective has a mysterious caller. All the way from Havana, as ruthless mercenaries wield alien powers, young Winston and Madame Vastra learn they have mutual friend, an eccentric young man sporting a bow tie. The thing is, beyond that synopsis, I can't really say any more than that. The Cuban parts are really well executed, accents not a problem from my end, and story-wise a perfectly reasonable set of narratives. All four of them are marvellous. They drag you in and they keep you going. But it's the sheer absence of a doctor that still niggles at me. Perhaps I want the moon on a stick. Well, I'm not going to get it. I'm also not going to get it in Human Conflict, the second one, in this box set by Ian McLaughlin. In 1941, the Prime Minister is much on his mind as London reels from the Blitz. When a daring mission to discover Nazi secrets bears unexpected results, Churchill heads north to retrieve technology that could win the war, but an old ally is set against his intent. Weary from his own people's conflict, the Doctor knows that some weapons should never enter the field of human conflict. Now, when I was listening to this box set, this was definitely one of my favourite stories. But as I've said so often in these podcasts, if I tell you any more, that would be a spoiler. I'm just no good at being able to differentiate between a quick synopsis and a quick idea of what's going on, and me going, oh, that was good. Now, there is a certain character appearing in this story who's basically, well, he's called Ian, he's a spy master, and he's a bit daring do. He's definitely Ian Fleming. As a friend of Churchill, it works. But by far my most favourite of the entire box is I Was Churchill's Double by Alan Barnes. Alexandra Palace, 1942. Strange television signals show a paranoid Churchill urging on the resistance in German-occupied Britain. A man in a battered leather jacket makes a guest appearance. The broadcasts come from another world, one where the country is now part of the Kaiser's empire. Of course, the Doctor is involved, and while Churchill claims to understand the notion of alternative histories, he never expected to be part of one. I do like an alternative history, Earth. And, best of all, is figuring out why something's happened. It's a great story. It's got Zeppelins. It's got First World War Germans taking over Britain. It's got John Logie Baird. What more do you need than that? And then you've got Churchill Victorious by Robert Kahn and Tom 
Shaminsky. VED, 1945. The war is over. The PM has seen the crowds and made his speech. Now he wishes to soak up the atmosphere, moving incognito among his fellow countrymen, but an alien interloper lurks in the back street taverns. A William Churchyard must lead a few plucky Londoners into one more fight. The doctor is in trouble, and at a time of his greatest victory, Churchill also faces his greatest danger. It's a nice story, it really is, and has the tenth doctor making an appearance. But you know what? It's still I was Churchill's double is my favourite. So if you liked McNeese as Churchill and you like the Companion Chronicles, this is for you. But if you're holding out, hoping for a doctor to make an actual appearance, no. However, if you're waiting for the Madame Vastra Chronicles, this is a backdoor pilot and a half. So I'll leave it up to you and let you hear the trailer. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Call me Vastra, Madame Vastra. You say a friend of yours is in danger. Winston Churchill. Churchill. The Churchill Years, Volume 2. A familiar rakish figure wearing my favourite of all his suits, a striped affair in good old Tory blue. And there he was, sat at the window table in his matching plum-coloured frock coat and bow tie. There's no doubt it's a weapon and it destroyed the mountain completely. If we could somehow possess it ourselves. Tonight I urge you all, bite back with me. Resist the German occupation. I assume I'm talking to the Prime Minister of these islands. Your irritating lieutenant has indicated that you want to make a deal for the weapons your enemies were so strident in trying to obtain from me. In my ship, as you are well aware, there is technology more powerful and more destructive than you can possibly imagine. You can subdue your enemies. I... My... <laughs> my goodness! That direction, the rear of the column. It's happening! Winnie, they're firing! What's that? That, Mrs. Wheeler, is what we have come looking for. It's von Moltkes dropping incendiary bombs to warn us we can't escape on foot. <laughs> A strange purple spark leaped from the doctor's device. Then, everything exploded. Big finish. We love stories. 2018 brings with it three brilliant conventions, all held at the Derby Quad. ShadowCon 2, the UFO convention, will be on June the 30th, 2018. Hooverville, the best little Doctor Who convention in the world, is on Saturday the 1st of September, while Big Finish Day is on the 3rd of November 2018. All tickets are available from the Derby Quad website. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.